was that noise? Oh, she's upstairs? Oh. Okay. Hi, everybody. Sorry. Weird noises happening at the house. Uh, oh, yeah, right at 7 o'clock. Man, look at that. Cool, man. This is crazy and impossible. So, we'll hear Tom Cruise Studios, live music, music in Austin, bringing to you uh, Three Beers and a Whiskey Virtual Fest, day two. Uh, if you missed it, last Thursday, we went live at 7 o'clock. We featured performances, live stream performances from, who did we have last week? Oh, Joe James. We had A.D. Hernandez featuring Jacob Gonzalez and Curtis Lee. Uh, and then, of course, Castaneda uh, finishing out or rounding out the group of performances last week. Uh, so today, we have Jelly Ellington leading it off. We've got Sim Ross. Oh, here we go. And we have Luke and the Lonely. And special happy birthday to Sarah. So, you know, um, uh, anyway, uh, I'm going to see if I can get Jelly on the line here since we're going uh, on live right now. Just to uh, chat with him for a hot second before I start his set. So uh, bear with me a moment while I uh, get in here and do a little dialing on the phone. And let's see what we get. I had to unplug one of my ears because I can't hear crap with these things in. Jelly. Hey, what's going on? Man, how you doing, brother? How have you been doing? Oh, you know, I'm hanging in there. Yeah, hey, I saw a, a little uh, live stream you did the other day from your in-house studio. Yes. Yeah, that yeah, was pretty good, yeah. man. That was nice. I like the setup in the house. Oh, I appreciate it, man. I appreciate it. It's my uh, place of peace. It's your... Uh, also really loud your, noises. Your little private well. getaway? some uh, guitar tracks for an upcoming album we've been working on nice nice uh, so yeah it's been it's been nice to really just kind of uh, just cue in on everything you know that all the time we have you can really take your time with really getting how you want it so that's been kind of nice so uh, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll back us up here for a second just for some of the folks tuning in. Uh, we've got Jelly Ellington on the phone with me. Uh, I haven't yet quite out, worked out the kinks to be able to get somebody live on the video with me but that's okay because we've all been in quarantine i got a hat on for a reason so you know i don't know jelly if you actually want to be people to be looking at you but uh that's why we're doing it uh as a phone conversation but again on the phone i have jelly ellington who is the first person up for uh, three beers and whiskey virtual fest day two um i was really uh, stoked that uh you were amicable to uh let me uh, throw some of that uh, live stream video when you were here uh, for the interview uh, back in November, and uh, if I recall, oh, yeah. at that interview, you, uh, you you hung in there good, man. You, it was awesome. You did a little acoustic performance afterwards, and I think one of those songs that you played, which we're going to show tonight, um, you were uh, you're like, oh, this is a new song, and I was like, oh, is this from? And you're like, no, it's not out yet. So is that one of the songs you're working on for uh, the new album? Yeah, yeah, actually. Kind of just getting everything, trying to figure out the set list for the album right now, and pretty sure that one's gonna make the cut. So I'm excited, definitely oh. excited to get that out. And cool. uh, it's been great to um, we've been doing some production over 512 Studios with uh, our uh, producer Omar Vallejo. He's Omar Vallejo, and, uh, man, that man's voice, that man's uh, name comes up everywhere all the time. Every time I'm doing something, there's Omar Vallejo. Who the hell is yeah. Omar Vallejo? But uh, so you're doing it over at 512 Studios. That's awesome. That's right. Uh, yeah, we've been um, really liking the sounds we're getting from there, so we, we're kind of running with that right now. Cool. Uh, and uh, who's uh, who's going to be, is there a core band you're going to have on the, the the album with you? Oh, yeah, most definitely. It's um, my, my little brother, uh, Andrew Ellington, is playing drums on it. Drew. Um, he'll help write a lot of the songs. Um, and... Uh, we, we wrote a bunch of songs when he first got down here, when he first moved down here, and uh, we lived together for, for a little while. And um, then we have uh, my buddy Steph, Steph on here, he's an awesome bass player, yep. he's an awesome guy, and uh, he's, he's been with me for a couple of 
for years now. And then uh, Cole Grambling's playing some keys. And nice. Organ. Yeah, I love and that Cole Grambling, man. Three year at studio, so um, yeah, so it's been a uh, everything's been coming together really nice. You know, a bit of a hold on things right now, but sure, a chance to kind of dig back into to the music itself and before we lay it on the you know on the tape. So so uh, how long? Uh, and of course, this I mean. With COVID, obviously, keeping us all locked down in our houses and having to do shows like this. Um, and yeah, by the way, folks, when I roll the tape here for Jelly's live stream performance that he did with us, uh, you're going to see his Venmo appear down at the bottom there. Um, there is nothing wrong with showing some love to uh, this guy for uh, for all his talent, what he did for us that day in the show, and what he does everywhere uh, out around the city. And man, you you uh you you play out not just in Austin. You're you know in uh, the East Coast, uh, done stuff in Washington before, haven't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We've, been, we've been up and down the East Coast quite a bit, and we were uh, actually about to hit the West Coast. We are going to hit um, L.A. and some other areas on the West Coast here in the next couple of weeks, but, you know, that's yeah. Yeah. unfortunately not happening anymore, so we're going to postpone that for a little bit later for all of our of our West Coast homies. Right. So do, so. You, do you have the ability to... Um, like you guys lay down tracks in your own respective homes and send them over to Omar and, and have him start working with stuff, or is it just kind of your your honing and sharpening everything, and then get into the studio and do it? What's the plan? Yeah, definitely the latter. What you're talking about, um, it's definitely more of a a demo kind of approach um, in our homes. You know, I have a, a studio set up here to um, cut a lot of. You know, we did the drums here. We did cool. um, pretty much every instrument, and then we kind of looked back at what we liked, what we didn't like, and then we actually lay it down um, for real over at uh, 512. Cool, so cool. So it's nice to have kind of a demo to kind of refer to and try to recreate. And then some some, some stuff doesn't get recreated. It just happens right there on the spot. But that's the wonderful magic of music, right? Right. Um, and even better than that is the live music. Uh, so is there? do you have studio time blocked out already in anticipation of this? So what's, what's your hope for this happening? Yeah, so we did. Um, we've, you know, we've just decided to uh, to keep our family safe and you know everybody else that we've uh, kind of postponed um, okay. our studio dates till further notice. All right, all um, right. Right now, which is definitely a bummer because I would I would love to, you know, kind of get the whole record done during this time, but right. You know, at the safety we're trying to take first, so. Yeah. Um, so if uh, folks watching, uh, besides the Venmo stuff that will pop up, what I don't have is any of your website info. Um, for anybody that's going to be new to Jelly Ellington or Jelly Music, what, uh, where can they find you at, brother? So you can just find everything um, at jellyellington.com, J-E-L-L-Y-E-L-L-I-N-G-T-O-N. All right. And, uh, yeah, you can, you can access my uh, Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook from that. So. Yep. Yes, sir. All right. Well, uh, look, I just wanted to get on the phone with you for a minute and chat and say hello. Hadn't talked to you. Haven't seen you in forever except online, this stuff here. Um, tell your wife I said hello. Uh, give the give Bowie a big uh, scratch behind the ear and, uh, you know, look forward to seeing you do some more stuff online and can't wait to see you live and can't wait to get uh, some new music in my hands again from you. But... Uh, anything else you yes, want to leave with before we uh, drop the call here and start up your live stream? Well, I just want to say uh, how delicious the pork tacos were you guys made for me after <laughs> uh, my first appearance on Three Beers and Whiskey. I still long for that taste. <laughs> well, yeah, Marissa is here. She's uh, she's over there in the corner watching the stream from another phone monitoring it. So she heard you. She she nodded. Thank nice. you. So. Yeah, man, uh, we try to take care of everybody like that. Just uh, our appreciation for you guys coming in to do the interview and then do the, the musical part of it. But uh, this is my way right here to give back. So everybody, uh, jo Jelly, Jonathan Jelly Ellington, thank you very much. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, get this video started with some... Jelly uh, Ellington. Jelly Ellington. Jonathan, nice, you have a good day. On, man. All right, brother. Bye. Can you hear it? Hita? Okay. Because I can't hear it. I can't hear the music. No music? Damn it. Oh. 
Thank you, sir. What was that? Uh, what was that song called? That was "Sun the Sea" oh, from Dylan and Ash. Yeah, uh, we do some. Uh, this is a new one called "Open Road." I mean, is that off of uh, the uh, the forthcoming album? Oh, really? Oh, this is new stuff. Yeah. It oh, is. damn. Exclusive.
Can you hear me now? Oh, there we go. Hey. All right. Uh, glitches of being live, you know, and running by myself. I don't have Rudy here with me. My director, he's out there on the other side of the world. Of, of, well, North Austin. So uh, he's, uh, he's coaching me on the cell phone. I'm like, no, do it like this. So that was Jelly Ellington. Um, he was uh, here at the debut. Or no, no, no. They did. Season two kickoff. Uh, for three beers and a whiskey. That was uh, Jelly Ellington's live stream performance. Uh, glad to kick that back over to you guys. Um, coming up next, we have Sim Ross. Uh, Sim and the Laughing Heart is the name of his band. Um, met Sim from a guy, uh, Sonny Beal. Sonny. Man, if you're out there, you're the man. I know you're out there. I see you on Facebook all the time. Um, and uh, got like an advanced copy of, well... Uh, it was an advanced copy of uh, Sims, at that time, newest CD. Amazing album. Uh, you can hear pretty much all the music from that. Uh, Mother's Day Blues, you got to go pick it up. Um, but anyway, that was uh, Jelly Ellington. Uh, appreciate all of y'all uh, tuning in and watching and listening to this. Uh, and, you know, we, we teased it on the Book of Faces here on Facebook. Uh, and Sim was kind of, you know, oh, maybe some super secret. Yeah, I think we got some uh, something special about to happen here. Uh, nothing crazy in the house. Uh, that's not allowed. So, um, but anyway, uh, thank y'all very much for tuning in for uh, Three Beers and a Whiskey Virtual Fest Day Two. Uh, our way here at Three Beers and a Whiskey. We can't do the live stream, can't interview the bands, but we've got a decent catalog of music of live stream performances that we've had. And, uh, yeah, man, check this out. So, uh, hello. Hello. Sim Ross, how you doing, sir? I'm good, how are you? Oh, I'm doing all right. I just was chatting up uh, about uh, three beers and a whiskey and, um, you know, not being able to do the live 
interview and the live stream performances. So our best way to try to give back to you guys, keep folks out there entertained and give them something, a little something on a Thursday evening to, to make them smile and feel happy. And uh, yeah, one of those things is some Sim Ross music. So uh, appreciate you giving me a call, sir. How you doing? Not too bad. How are you? Uh, we're hanging in there, man. We're hanging in there. You know, uh, I'm keeping busy with this stuff, so uh, that, that's good. And I know you've been keeping busy with some music. Yeah, I've been trying, man. Uh, I started doing some covers a couple of weeks back and then completely lost my <laughs> motivation. <laughs> but it was fun. You know, it was like a week or two that it lasted. It was fun. Right. So uh, are you getting out doing a little bit of the live stream stuff? Are you getting into that and doing that to... Uh, I guess keep your chops, you keep your fingers loose, and your and keep your chops up. Uh, what's going on with you and uh, the COVID nineteen lockdown? Uh, yeah, I'm. I, I've got some uh, recording here that I'm going to be setting up, and, and uh, I live with Andrew, the bass player of yes. the band, right, and our keyboard player. So at least until the end of the month, right. But uh, we're going to see if we can get some new stuff down at the very least in demo form. And, you know, if it sounds good enough, we'll see. Maybe I'll put it out before I get into a studio. Who knows? Yeah. So, uh, Sim, is it, can you throw a, throw a shout-out to yourself as far as the website, where everybody can find uh, you and your music at? Uh, www.simrossmusic.net. Ah, okay, uh, .net, all right. Yeah, that's where you're going to find uh, the lat that my first two records and then uh, if you go to my Instagram, it's Sim Ross Music, and there is a song that I put up on Bandcamp maybe three weeks ago or uh -huh. so that'll more than likely be on the next record. Nice. Okay. And uh, so for everybody out there, Sim actually, uh, what I was saying a moment ago before Sim called in, uh, we were introduced to each other musically through uh, Sonny, right? Uh, your yeah. former yeah. former. Y'all still keep in touch at all? You and Sonny? I I spoke to him about a week ago, see so okay. how he was doing through all of this. But yep. Yeah. We're, yep. we're still very friendly. So we, uh, you know, Sonny sent me a track, a, a CD, like a digital copy of uh, this this new band he was with, and he told me, man, you got to check this out, listen to it, let me know what you think. And so I did a review on the, the music, and then after that, very shortly after that, Three Beers and a Whiskey kind of got created, and uh, it, it, for me, it felt like a no-brainer, even though I had never seen you guys perform, the music I loved enough that I was like, I got to get these guys to come sit down and do an interview. And, uh, and so you were the Three Beers and a Whiskey, the interview show started back in 2018. So we're close to two years on this live stream interview silliness that we do. And uh, you guys were the second band we ever had on. So uh, yeah. it's super cool now to be able to grab that live stream that we had and I archived and, and bring it back out and give it to some of these folks that are tuned in right now and watching and, and, uh, and be able to share it with everybody. But uh, you want to, besides you and, and Flash working on some new stuff and trying to get some stuff recorded, uh, that you're going to be doing in the house, you said, right? As of right now, yeah, we're going to do some in-house recording we have all of our gear set up at the house and we have for you know the last year or so, so right we're, so we're able to play here in-house demo nice. kind of stuff right yeah, yeah yeah so um uh if you want to uh share with everybody i, I when i i, I told well, i asked sim hey i'm doing this three beers and a whiskey virtual fest i'm gonna put together some stuff and and uh so i contacted sim and said hey you know, day two, I'm going to have you guys set up in the middle of that set. Uh, and he was like, yep, we're down, we're good, let's do that. And then, uh, Sim, you want to pro tell them what, what you texted me and asked me and what I ended up getting? I'll let uh, you, yeah, I'll let you I, introduce I, it. I, since, since we've been in lockdown, I decided, you know, it's a good time to write some music. And uh, I threw together a song maybe two weeks ago. Mm -hmm. And uh, I told Will that... Uh, you know, if you wanted to hear a super secret before it's released anywhere else version, here it is. I recorded the video for you. And it was awesome. And uh, yeah, I'm. I'm uh, I hope this is okay that I'm sharing this with the world because uh, it's built into the video here, and it's gonna it's gonna lead off that 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 song that you recorded, that acoustic song, uh, is the lead off that little set you did, little piece uh, is gonna lead off your 
live stream set that you did here with three beers and a whiskey back uh, I don't know August September of eighteen. Yeah, that's absolutely perfect. Awesome, awesome. So uh, before I roll that uh, that video, anything you want to shout out to the folks or leave them with uh, as far as uh, what they can expect uh, from Sim Ross or anything positive uh, vibes, brother. Yeah, positive vibes. Uh, I- Look for some new music, of course, either the end of this year or the beginning of next year. Fingers crossed we can get something done and and uh, everybody stay safe. Thank you very much, sir. Very good words. And thank you very much for calling in. I'm going to go ahead and roll me some uh, Sim Ross right now. So y'all enjoy this music from Sim Ross. And it was simrossmusic.net, correct? Yes, sir. And then look him up on all. And there's I think there's more than one Sim Ross out there, but... When you hear this music and you look them up on the internet, you know who you're dealing with. So thank you very much for taking a few minutes, sir. I appreciate it. Uh, Definitely look forward to uh, hanging out again and uh, checking out some uh, new Sim Ross music live. Right on, brother. All right, man. You have a great evening. Stay safe. Hey, guys. Sim Ross here uh, doing a brand new song for you. Uh, It'll be out, who knows, man, whenever the earth returns to its natural state. Revelations. Uh, I did this for uh, Will Tompkins at uh, Three Beers and a Whiskey. Go check out the website, podcast, YouTube, threebeersandawhiskey.com. Enjoy.
a little bit, and uh, I want these guys to do this, man. Winding rivers, live on the same here.
damn. So, uh, Sim Ross music there for you. Uh, so, everybody that's uh, joining us for uh, Three Beers and a Whiskey Virtual Fest Day 2, thank you very much. I hope you all can hear me out here. This, this is super, like, uncomfortable having to work the system and talk to you guys. Well, I can talk to you guys easy, but, like, doing the computer stuff while I'm doing this. Man, much props to my director, Rudy Rudolfo Rosco. Man, thank you, sir, for all you do to, to make this show run when we're live with a house full of people. Um, we've got some new, new things coming up uh, as soon as the world sets itself right and we're able to start running again, uh, get some uh, musicians in here. Uh, we're excited for, for continuing season two of Three Beers and Whiskey simply because there's so many musicians here in Austin that we have access to to be able to ask and say, hey, come sit down and do an interview with us. We'll feed you, play some music, go live. Um, but now with COVID, you know, everybody's doing this live stream stuff. And uh, so some of these folks that may have been hesitant to come on the show because they really didn't get it. They're like, uh, oh, we're going to be live. Uh, okay. Now they're sitting in their homes on their sofas entertaining you guys because they can't go out to the clubs. And uh, so when we make the phone call and we say, hey, Madam Radar, you guys, we'd love to have you on our show. They'll be totally down with it. Hey, Vallejo, come on in. Um, anyway, all kidding aside, thank you all very much for tuning in uh, for Three Beers and Whiskey Virtual Fest Day 2. Uh, we had first up was Jelly Ellington. Uh, you can look his music up at jellyellingtonmusic.com, uh, I think is what he said. Uh, that was just Sim Ross that we had on, his Sim, uh, Jelly Elling, simross.net. Uh, see, I'm already forgetting. Whatever. Um, yeah. Look, uh, yeah, right here, look. Oh, right there, there we go, merch. Okay, so it's stickers. We're working on hats and shirts, but uh, man, it's, this is money, and you know we don't make any money from any of this stuff yet. We're trying. We don't have any beer sponsors or whiskey sponsors. If you know somebody out there in, in internet land that's in the Austin area that does a brewery or a distillery that would love to have their be part of that, Tell them, hey, man, I've got this show that you've got to contact them for. Um, coming up next, we do have Luke and the Lonely. Uh, their live stream performance they did here at Three Beers and a Whiskey. Uh, also, as I understand, damn, that was totally coincidence that I said his name and all of a sudden my phone's ringing. Hello? What's going on, Will? Well, how are you doing, sir? I appreciate you calling in, man. Uh, and, and the crazy thing is I just was doing a rundown talking about like, hey, first up we had Jelly Ellington, and then we had uh, Sim Ross music, and coming up next we're going to have some Luke and the Lonely, and then my phone rang and it was you. I mean, I know we timed this, but damn, that was good timing, <laughs> sir. Uh, how have you been doing? How have you been doing in all of this mess? Uh, I've, been, I've been doing pretty well, to be honest with you. Uh, I, feel, I feel guilty because uh, in some ways uh, this has been... This has been nice for my the part of me that loves to just sit in my room and write, practice my instruments, uh, avoid people. <laughs> the introvert in you—is that what you're saying? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, don't get me wrong. I, I am, uh, you know, socially starved in a lot of ways. Uh, yeah, are we and, all? Uh, yeah, which uh, is not unique, but but yeah, no, I, I think. I've, I've kind of found my flow, and, uh, you know, it, it's, it's funny. There's so much more time in a day when you're not running around town everywhere. Every You know, everything I do is yeah. via this, you know, video stuff. Right, you got people pulling you this way and that. You got your own commitments you got to do, and then all of a sudden, you know, 24 hours is up, and you got to start it all over again. And now it's like, it's only 3.30 in the afternoon? <laughs> hey, uh... Right, right. It is completely different. I've seen you uh, you actually getting on and doing some of the live streams right now yourself, you and Sarah, correct? I've seen y'all do a couple of things. That's right. Yeah, yeah. We, we've done a little bit of that. Uh, and uh, How's that working out for you? How, do you? how do you like that? How do you feel about doing the, you know, it's just sitting there and staring at a camera and doing it with, like, no crowd or anybody around you? What's your, what's your take on that? It's, 
it's weird. There's a part of me that, uh, there's a, there's a pessimist in me that I, I look around, and I see all of this, this live streaming and it just, it's just kind of like, uh, you, f- you feel just, you know, you can feel a little bit like, gosh, aren't people sick of this? Like, <laughs> Right, inundated with it. Just it's it's saturated with it. Yeah, that's why I, that's why I picked a Thursday at seven o'clock. I'm like, man, everybody's blowing up Fridays and Saturdays and Sundays, and so I was like, now nah, let me do Thursday happy hour seven o'clock, and you know people still be awake before they go to bed. So that's why I picked this day just to you know celebrate you guys and try to bring a little fun to the folks that are sitting at home and uh, let them have something to watch. Uh, and you know, if somebody didn't get to tune into an episode of three beers and a whiskey or didn't find us on the internet or YouTube or Facebook, um, then now we get to have a, an archived live stream performance from Luke and the lonely and share it with like a whole bunch of different people that may never have seen it originally. And, uh, you know, maybe generate something for you out there. So where can people find you guys at as far as on yeah, the we internet? I really appreciate it, man. Uh, yeah. Yeah, we're on, so you can find us at, at Luke and the Lonely on uh, Instagram and Facebook. Mm-hmm. Uh, we have a website, LukeandTheLonely.com. Good. And, uh, you know, of course, our music is streaming on all the, all the streaming platforms. Uh, and in particular, Spotify, you can uh, go, if you, if you go to our Spotify artist page, uh, you can donate to our, our cash app. And cool. Spotify is matching the funds of uh, people who donate. So to help really? out, you know, drug musicians like us, if they still have, if they still have funds, we're not sure if Spotify still has. Oh, I got gotcha, you, I got gotcha. you. They they said here's a certain amount we're going to donate, and then yeah, okay, well it's still something worth, folks. Hey man, if y'all are out there, you're going to watch this performance here from Luke and the Lonely. Um, you know, now here's the interesting thing: is I contacted Nick. Nick is the drummer for Luke and the Lonely. In case when y'all see this pop up and you see, so I asked Nick. I was like, "Hey, what's the Venmo I can use to to put on here so if people are watching, they can donate?" So Nick gave me Nick Tozo <laughs> or Tazo. I was like, "Okay." So make sure you hit Nick up and be like, "Hey, did we get any tips from that show?" And I hopefully Nick's watching or he's going to tune in. Um, but uh, what do you guys have anything planned uh, in, well, the future is kind of, you know, we were speaking about time a minute ago. The future is timeless right now because we don't have a future. But uh, what's the plans for uh, Luke and the Lonely? Well, that's a great question. Uh, you know, if, if there's still, you know, we, we booked out pretty far into the year. So if there's a possibility, we'll have some shows that, you know, come together but we'll you know that's not really anything that we can hope or pray for at this point uh but but i'd say you know we're still sitting on some amazing recordings uh we we did this year uh at the bubble with frenchie smith so really really excited about about those and so they're going to be we're going to be releasing them sometime this year Mm -hmm. and uh you know aside from that you know we're going to stay we're going to stay active uh doing you know some online stuff and, uh, you know, just kind of, I think all, you know, in, in our rooms, uh, perfecting our craft. So whenever we come out of this, uh, mess, we'll be sharper uh, and hotter than ever. That's right. Exactly right. Yeah. Yeah. So I'll tell you what, y'all, man, you gotta go to the website, find them on Facebook, uh, Spotify, you said, correct? That's right. Um, that's right. and, uh, find Luke in the Lonely. You've had a couple of people actually that like tuned into this this live stream show that I'm doing, uh, there's a couple of people that jumped in. Like, as soon as I started at 7 o'clock, they jumped in and they were like, oh, oh, yay, Luke and the Lonely. And I was like, wow, okay, you got to sit through two other bands. Not worried about that, but it was, I, was, uh, I was impressed, man. You got some fans out there that are, uh, that are hunting me down, waiting for this Luke and the Lonely to drop. So, uh, Genuine fans. I, I was like, wow, man. So, um, I appreciate you taking a couple of minutes to just uh, give me a ring and chat. Um, it's, it's good to hear voices other than you know your neighbors and friends um especially musicians that you like and i really enjoyed what you guys did here i can't wait for the opportunity to uh get out and see you guys do you know the real deal uh although you were like plugged in and hot and electric here you guys are about to see uh, a, a damn little good piece of music from luke and the lonely that they did here at three beers and whiskey but in a club that vibe with other people around 
I'm glad you guys are booked out far enough that, uh, you know, there's something to look forward to for you uh, coming out of this, uh, you know, if all things go well and the world sets itself right. Got anything you want to yeah, well, leave us with before uh, I start rolling your uh, video here? Man, not really, except for, you know, thank you so much for for doing this. And, uh, you know, as always, supporting local artists. And, uh, you know, we're just really happy that, that uh, you know, for the chance to work with you. And uh, we hope, you know, we hope everybody at home is uh, on behalf of Luke Alonso. We hope you all are healthy and uh, you know, find a way to have fun in this strange time. Yep, that's hey man, that's all we're trying to do is just keep everybody entertained, have some fun. Uh, you know, I don't have Sarah's phone number, but if you get to ch chat with her, tell her we we over here at Three Beers and Whiskey said happy birthday, and uh, thank you very much oh for calling God, in. Yes, I am so glad you remembered to say it. I, I called her yesterday, and I, yeah, I feel like now I feel like a bad band mate. <laughs> I was I was reminding I was reminding you to 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 say it. So yeah, you, you want to wish her happy birthday? Go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> All right, brother. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and roll. Yeah, hey, there you go. That was that was it from from the man himself. So thank you very much for calling in. I'm gonna go ahead and roll this video. Uh, and uh, now, if you uh, <laughs> you get to log in and watch yourself performing on a show, you were just talking to us. Um, but, uh, you have a great evening. Stay safe, brother. And I look forward to, uh, catching you guys live here in Austin in the near future. Let's be positive in the near future. Thank you. Well, appreciate you. All right, man. Have a good night. Yeah. All right, everybody. So here we are back at, uh, Tucker Studios, Live in Austin, Three Bears and Whiskey. Here is the after the interview performance from Luke and the Lonely.
Derek right front and center here.
I'm gonna sing a little duet for you called Crawling Back. You're gonna miss the way that I twist my words whenever you're around. You're gonna fall like a lonesome cannonball and you'll roll until you reach the lowest ground. But chances are we'll come crawling back. And if we
Thank you all so much. Two beers and a whiskey, thank you. Yeah. There you go. Now you can hear me. So there you go. Uh, good, good, great music. Uh, thank y'all very much, everybody that kind of tuned in, and uh, you know Lisa for jumping in at seven o'clock and watching the whole dang thing. Thank you very much. Um, thank you to Jelly for uh, calling in, uh, Sim for calling in, uh, Luke. We appreciate you guys taking a couple of minutes out of your busy lives right now. Whatever. Anyway, I still appreciate you guys taking a few minutes to call in and uh, chat with me, uh, keep everybody entertained, and uh, you know, keep keep the world you know as right as it can be with uh, this lockdown kind of thing. Uh, super happy that we've had the opportunity to have a lot of these bands come into our house. We get to interview them and have them do live stream performances, and I'm grateful that I was wise enough to capture this stuff and archive it so that the world ends and we're able to like entertain you sitting in your homes with some of these performances. But, uh, you know, we're going to end the stream here in a second. Um, you can go back and catch it. I'm going to replay it again. Uh, uh, like all sorts of channels, as many as I can put it on there. Uh, you guys are welcome to share it, please. Uh, but again, thank everybody for tuning in. Thanks to Jelly Ellington, Sim Ross, Luke and the Lonely. Happy birthday, Sarah. Um, we really appreciate you guys um, for watching and, uh, and taking the time out. And Three Bears and Whiskey will be back again. We'll be doing the interviews like we were doing before. Um, we'll, have the, uh, we'll feed the bands. We'll have the live stream music. So, you know, in the future, if you guys want to catch what, what's going on here, if you want to actually see this when it happens, uh, go to our YouTube channel and subscribe. Three beers and a whiskey. Pretty easy. It's all spelled out. Three beers and a whiskey. Hit subscribe. Hit the notification. Next time we go live, you get all the information. We're also here on the Book of Faces, um, Twitter, Instagram. I get all of it. But uh, we do the live stuff on uh, Facebook, and it goes over to YouTube. Uh, we appreciate it. Yes, we have a Venmo account also. It's three beers and a whiskey. Uh, but really, this isn't about us. This is about us being able to give back to the musicians. This is what their art and their craft is. And now they're at home honing their craft, writing new music, getting ready to put it out there to the world. But at least uh, you know we can do a little bit to keep you entertained and uh, try to give back to them a little bit. So uh, when you watch us on uh, replay on your, and share it with friends, um, hit up their Venmo and their PayPal accounts and, and throw them a little bit of love because if you were in the bar, you may or may not have paid a cover. You will definitely be paying for some beers and you might have thrown some bucks in there or a tip jar while they were playing. So, um, and they're not doing that right now. So anyway, uh, I'm rambling on. I got my beer and we got our three beers and whiskey stuff. So appreciate everybody tuning in. I'm going to go ahead and get out of here. Next week, Thursday, 7 o'clock, we're coming back with day three of Three Beers and Whiskey Virtual Fest. Um, haven't set the, 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 the schedule yet. Looks like it might be, uh, I'm going to leak this a little bit, uh, might have some Tyler Fambro opening it up uh, with his music um, and then leading or headlining that night, I believe, there's gonna be some Cody Bryan music in the middle there. Might be some forever starts today doing a rare acoustic set. But I don't know, man. We still got so much other music that we've had musicians come in here, sit down and interview, and then do this live performance stuff and live stream it out there. That we're going to share it with you guys. Um, let's see, brain's all fuddled up. I'm trying to, to remember who all we've got. We've got Curtis Lee Trio that did some music with us, Forever Starts Today, Cody Bryan music, uh, Tyler Fambro. We also have Hidden Empires. Roland the Roots Rhythm, or the Rhythm Roland, and uh, man, there's some other music too. So we've still got more Three Beers and Whiskey Virtual Fest coming up, but tune in next Thursday, 7 o'clock. We're going to do this again, entertain you guys, and give some love back out of the music community. Y'all have a good night, man. Love y'all. Thank you very much for tuning in.